Hi guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel and as always, Autodidactic means to be self-educated and you want to be self-educated guys because believe me, you do not want to learn what they are trying to teach us. Okay, now this video, um, uh, uh, this is about the Melbourne State Library and the reason I, was, I just uh, came across this image and it is real, that's an act, that's a sculpture. Okay, and as you can see, it's actually the corner of the library. Um, this is the library in the background, and it's sunken. So it's just representing a mud flood. There it is again. As you can see, it's quite quite tall. These people are sort of there, so it's quite a big sculpture. And yeah, just the corner of the building sticking out, sunken into the ground. So I found that pretty interesting. Um, you know, there's obviously the, the whole hidden in plain sight thing. I mean, this is trying to tell us something. Now this is the actual state library. I saw that and I thought I've got to check this library out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, look at this. This is um, one of the reading rooms. And I mean, you can see how immense it is. It's huge. You know, all the classic, you know, arches, um, the classic architecture, you know, this massive dome. You know, we've got all this, you know, really intricate sort of detailing, you know, around here. Sort of lacing kind of stuff. Um, up here, so these are more windows. I mean, it's just amazing. And they're just basically using the <laughs> this little space for reading books. Um, I mean, this obviously has been, this is a repurposed building. This wasn't built as a library. This um, this would have been in Australia before um, 1788, you know, before the first convicts started, you know, as they called them, the convicts, people from other countries that were imported out here after the flood. So if you look at this frame, what it looks like, you know, we've got sort of balconies or boxes here. Um, these, you know, these look like they were balconies. I'm not sure if they filled the walls in or something. It looks like this is some kind of, um, you know, theatre maybe, you know, where there was something happening down here and people sitting up around the outside watching it. I'm not sure exactly, but that's just, yeah, look, <laughs> that's an amazing room. This is it from the outside. And it's part of this building, which is, you know, the classic, classic Greco-Roman, what we're told is Greco-Roman, the columns, you know, the portico here, you know, it's just classic. You know, that building you could see anywhere around the world and it would fit in. You, know, you do see them everywhere around the world. These, I just found a few um, old pictures. And, of course, you know, you can never find plans, or, you know, construction plans or anything. They're pretty much drawings of what are, what's already there. But um, this one, I couldn't decipher what was written up here. That's a pretty small image, unfortunately. It's not very high contrast. Uh, this is just a weird statue that's out the front of a horse being eaten by an alligator that seems to have two tails. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't seen the front of it. It's just a weird sort of, you know, the the, the main reason I sort of got this, it's got two tails. Um, just not very Australian. This is supposed to be, you know, the State Library of Victoria and they're putting horses and stuff. I mean, if that's a crocodile, it, you know, you could call it Australian, but there's no crocodiles in Victoria, guys. They're all up north in Darwin and Queensland, top of uh, WA. So I just found that very out of place. Uh, here's another picture, um, another drawing. As you can see up here, um, they're still using the Vs as instead of the Us, so I'm not sure how old you know, this really is, public library. Uh, museums, National Gallery, Victoria, new reading room, stack rooms, etc. So what does that mean? Does that mean that that's, they're going to turn that into their new reading room? I mean, public library museum, is it a picture for the museum? I mean, I'm not sure. But again, it's just, it's just a drawing of what's already there. There's, there's no, there's no depth to this. There's no, it does say it's got a scale here, but there's no actual measurements. It's not like anything to do with construction or um, architecture, design, anything like that. It's just a drawing. 
but we, you know, this is what they sort of try and tell us were the, the plans, but you know, obviously not. Uh, what else we got here? This again is the dome. <clears throat> and if you come up here, it's a picture of the dome that we saw in that massive room. Um, Public Library Museum and National Galleries Victoria Reading Room. Down the bottom it says, this is obviously been put in afterwards, new reading room plan of dome glazing. So all, all that really, if anything, all it's saying is they're talking about reglazing this glass. But again, I wonder how old that drawing is, how old that picture is, and who actually drew it. Was it, was it people after the flood or was it a pre-flood drawing? We, you know, we just don't know. Here's that room again, and you know, it's just huge. It's just <laughs> Now, who would build this back in the 18, uh, when was it built? 1860, I think. Um, let's see, uh, what have we got here? Sorry, guys, uh, one moment, I've got something up here. Melbourne Public Library was opened 11th of February, 1856. So uh, Australia was founded 1788. Well, it was when the first ship, the first fleet landed in Botany Bay in Sydney. Um, you know, with with not much, these these were small ships. They didn't have the room or, or the capacity to bring tools or anything, you know, that were big. They would have had hand saws and things. But then they're telling us, you know, within 80 years, they were constructing this kind of stuff. And not just this building, that they're all over the place in Australia. They're everywhere, guys. Um, and they were constructing them with, you know, with what convict labour, I mean, hand tools, where were they quarrying the stones? I've looked into that, I couldn't find anything. Um, whoops, uh, I just can't see all of this, so it's been a bit cut out, but what it says down here is um, Lieutenant Governor Joseph Charles established the Melbourne Public Library, blah, 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 They and it says that they laid the cornerstone. Um, Maybe this is the wrong. But then they um then they've lost the cornerstone. <laughs> um, this is another picture just of the library that's written on that sculpture. It's just got a few. You, know, you can see some of the intricacies and like just like this. What is this? Look at all these blocks. They're just perfect. I mean, you can't tell me that that is just for decoration to go to all that work. It looks like some kind of I don't know transistor thing I'm not really sure um so again built you know open 1856 um blah 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 and yeah it says that they laid the the uh, the cornerstone the foundation stone um let's see if i can find it no, so I've lost it. Um, but it does say that, and then it says that unfortunately that you know the, the cornerstone was lost. Um, so sorry, not getting all the picture here. My my screen's not quite big enough. Um, but anyway, this is just talking about funny and how they sort of it was all you know how it was all built and named and that. But there's there's no information here at all. Really, it's just a few dates and names. Nothing on how it was built at all. But they did build that, they're telling us. So I just found it really interesting. I mean, here's another picture of the building. You can see it's quite a way above street level. So, you know, is there another level under there? It looks, it is sitting pretty flat. But look at the size of that building built, you know, the, in the 1850s. Like, with what machinery? Like, how are they doing this? Another picture. And I mean, this would have been, you know, probably not early 1900s. It's, but you can see how, how many other buildings are around already. You know, it's a very still new country. This this one is uh, 1902. Uh, Melbourne, 1902. So I just put this in just to, so you could see how built up it was by 1902, you know, I mean, this is what, 120 years after a couple of boats landed with convicts and they've done this. And this is just one city. 
I mean, look at all the buildings, there's spires everywhere. Now, this was all here. Look at this. I mean, it looks like the White House. <laughs> it just, uh, it's, just, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's so hidden in plain sight. But all this stuff, there's no way that, that it was that that the convicts and, and the you know population of Australia after 1788 built all this stuff. There's just no way. This is the Queen's Hall. As you can see, again, columns everywhere, traditional stuff, you know, all this, you know, beautiful architecture. High ceilings. You know, look at these massive chandelier things hanging down. Um, this is it today. Chandeliers are gone, of course. It looks like they've done a bit of changing up to the ceiling. I so do like to change things. This floor looks like it may have been put in too. I'm not sure. Just you know, pillars go up to the top. Who knows? In any case, it's still a pretty tall floor. Um, and this is another room. This is so. This is all inside this this uh, this building, the State Library of Victoria, and it was built in 1856. All this stuff, guys, was all built 1856. Uh, it's another picture. I just found that interesting because it has, you know, stairs going underneath the actual main structure. And again, this is just showing all the, um, you know, statues that are just, they're not Australian. I mean, they're not, you couldn't even call them, um, you know, English or British if, you know, if they were going to say, well, we're, they're not Australian because we were a British colony. They, you know, it's, yeah. And of course, two metal poles at the front, which is interesting. Another shot of that room. I think it's just, I think it's just called the main reading room or the great reading room or something. But yeah, it's one amazing place. This is an old shot as well. Uh, this is from sort of 1860s. As you can see, there's not many people. It's massive buildings, hardly anyone around, dirt streets big wide streets, um, but yeah, they've built this because there's all these people, you know, state library as well. I mean, you know, we're told that not hardly anyone could read back then in Australia. So it's, you know, who are they building these buildings for? And again, you can see it's sitting high up off the road. So yeah, I just found it really interesting, um, you know, especially with this sculpture coming out of the mud, mud flood building. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. State Library of Victoria, um, you know, definitely a building that was here before Europeans or before the story that we're told, 1788, um, with all that architecture. And like I said, and I keep saying, this is just one building in, in, in a city, you know, in Melbourne, which is just covered in these buildings, all supposed to be built at the same time, um, you know, as you can see, the population wasn't that big. I think around the, then the population of Melbourne was, I think it was up to like 100,000 maybe, probably maybe a bit less. It was actually the biggest city in Australia back then. It's not anymore. Um, but, yeah, just doesn't add up. So I hope you enjoyed this. Got some value for it. Please leave me a comment, like, subscribe if you like my material, and share it around. And as always, guys, be autodidactic because self-education is the way forward. All right, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye now.